All right, lesson 1-2, algebraic expressions and models. Uh, in this lesson, we will be performing two things. First of all, you'll be learning how to perform the order of operations. Second thing we'll be working on is how to simplify um, expressions. But first of all, remember evaluating powers. The first number 2 is known as the number. 5 is known as the power or the exponent. And the 5 actually just indicates how many times you need to take the base times itself. So in this case, 2 to the 5th power, we would take 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So you take 2 times itself 5 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 gives you 32. Okay. Now the tricky part comes in when where the negative is placed. So for example, if I had negative 3 to the 4th power, the base of this is the negative 3. So we're going to take negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. In other words, we're going to take negative 3 times itself 4 times. So when you take a negative 3 times a negative 3, it gives you negative 9. When you take a negative 3 times a negative 3 gives you a positive 9. 9 times 9 then gives you a positive 81. When the negative is not enclosed in the parentheses, we have basically the base is the 3. So you take 3 times 3 times 3 to the 4th power. So 3 times itself 4 times. And then you take the opposite of that. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 gives you 81, but the opposite of 81 is negative 81. So it is possible to an even power to get um, a negative number if um, the negative is not enclosed within the parentheses. Okay, order of operations. Remember the little old saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The P stands for one operation, the E stands for the next step, MD go together, and then the A and the S um, in this phrase, please excuse my dear and Sally. And if you look, the P stands for parentheses and all the other grouping symbols, which could include brackets, fraction bars, those things. Um, e stands for exponents. M stands for multiply and divide. And make sure that you do those left to right, and then add or subtract from left to right. So first example, if we had the expression negative 4 plus 2 times the quantity negative 2 plus 5 to the second power. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to do what's in the parentheses. So inside the parentheses we have a negative 2 plus 5 which would give us 3. So we would have now, and I would suggest underlining the first step that you're doing. So you're going to have negative 4 plus 2 parentheses second power. Okay? So the, all the parentheses are taken care of. Um, and when they're taken care of is when you get that down to one number. Um, two is exponents. So the only thing being raised to the exponent is the three. So three squared again tells us we take three times itself. Three times three which would give us nine. So we have negative four plus two times three squared is nine. The next step is to multiply or divide, and you do this left to right. So when you do this left to right, we're going to take care of the 2 times 9, so we get negative 4 plus 18, and then we can take care of our adding and subtracting. So negative 4 plus 18 would give us 14. Okay. Next example. Uh, this one is a U try, so go ahead and pause the video and. Um, this one um, on your own. When you're finished, uh, restart the video. Okay. Um, when we do this, remember we got to do the P stands for parentheses. We got to do all everything in parentheses first. So negative three plus seven gives me four to the second power. E stands for exponents. So negative six plus three. 4 squared gives us 16. And then the next step would be take care of all of your multiply and divide. And so when you take 3 times 16, 
gives you an answer of 48. Everything else we're going to bring down. And then negative 6 plus 48 gives us 42. Okay. Alright, the next one. Now in this example, um, whenever you have an expression, negative 3x squared minus 5x plus 7, you're going to evaluate it. Whenever it says evaluate, that means you're going to find an answer when x equals negative 2. Now, the very first thing that we need to do on this is we need to substitute. We're going to change all of the x's to negative 2. So we're going to have negative 3, the x is squared, so we need negative 2 squared, minus 5 times negative 2 plus 7. So remember, um, if we take care of the parentheses first, we already have it down to one number. And we already have this one down to one number. So the next thing is e exponents. So negative 2 squared gives us a negative 2 times a negative 2, which is 4. So negative 3 times 4, and then we get minus 5 times minus 2 plus 7. And then remember, the m and the d go together, multiply and divide. So we're going to take negative 3 times 4, which gives us a negative 12. The negative here goes with this 5. So we're going to take a negative 5 times a negative 2, which gives us a positive 10 plus 7. And then we're going to add, next step is, since we've taken care of all of the multiply and divide, we're going to add and subtract. So negative 12 plus 10 gives us a negative 2 plus 7 for a final answer of 5. Next example is a U try, so go ahead and pause the video and do this one on your own. When finished, you may restart the video. So just like the last one, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to change, but this time we got two things to change. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to change it to 2. Everywhere we see a y, we're going to change it to 4. So we get 2 plus 3, quantity squared. 3, we're going to change the y to 4, minus 2. So order of, now that we've substituted all the x's and the y's, the next step is we're going to change... Um, we're going to actually follow the order of operations. So we're going to take all of the parentheses. So in this case, 2 plus 3 will give us 5. And then we have to square the 5. On the bottom, we have 3 times 4 minus 2. And we do need to treat this like an... We need to treat the fraction bar just like we would a parenthesis. So we need to do everything on top first, then we'll do everything on the bottom first. So if we continue following the order of operations, we need to do the exponents. So 5 squared would give us 25. There's no exponents on the bottom. So the next step would be to take care. We've used all of our exponents. The next step would be multiply or divide. So 3 times 4 would give us 12 minus 2. No more multiply or divide, so now we move to add or subtract. So we have 25 divided by 10. Okay. Since 25 will not go into 10 evenly, we can simplify that. Um, you can divide both of them by 5. So 5 divided by 25 divided by 5 will give us 5. 10, 10 divided by 5 will give us 2. And we can just leave that answer as an improper fraction. Okay, a couple of vocabulary terms that we need to discuss is like terms, coefficient, and constant. Like terms are any terms that have the same variable and the same exponent. Coefficients are the numbers that are in front of the variable. So if I gave you the example of 3x and 5x squared y, the 3 and the 5 are the coefficients. And a constant is just a number without a variable. All right, so the first example, if I said simplify 7x plus 4, well, 7x, there are no other x's to add with the 7, 
and there's no other constants beyond the 4. So this is an example of one that would be in simplest form. You cannot simplify it anymore. The next one, we have 3n squared plus n minus n squared. So since I have, and remember the sign that's in front of the term is what goes with it, a negative n squared, and this one has an n and n squared, then I can, there are coefficients I can add. So 3 plus a negative 1 would give me 2n squared, and then the n doesn't go with anything, so I just add it. 2n squared plus n. The next one is a U-try, so go ahead and pause the video. Oh, sorry. Um, this one, the very first thing when we're simplifying these is you need to eliminate parentheses. So in this case, you need to, first of all, we're going to use the distributive property. So if I distribute 2 to the x, I get 2x, 2 distribute it, I get 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, on this, I want to make a note, and be careful that whenever you have an expression like this, the sign that's in front of that term has to go with it. So that negative has to go with the x, or with the 3. So you're going to take negative 3 times x, which gives you negative 3x negative 3 times negative 4, which gives you plus 12. Okay. Then you can combine your like terms, remember the terms that have the same variable and the same exponent. So in this case I can combine the 2x and the negative 3x. So 2 and negative 3 gives me a negative 1. Don't need to write the negative 1, um, but a negative x and 2 plus 12 gives me 14. So negative x plus 14. Okay. Um, at this time, you're finished, um, and you will need to go ahead and start on your assignment.